the broadcast is live. Hello, hello everybody. My name is Amy Spencer and I'm here with Olaplex and I'm going to show you guys how I foil using Olaplex. Uh, we have already prepped her hair using Malibu C to detox her hair. And so now we are going to dig in and do some foiling. We used to be a global lightning service, but because she lives far away, we want to go in and do as much blonding as we can, but we want to make it a seamless grow out. So we're going to do diagonals using Olaplex. And I'm actually using, so I've got 30 grams of Olaplex, or excuse me, 30 grams of lightener. And I'm going to use one eighth Olaplex. I'm going to mix my developer and my lightener together first. And then we'll put that in and mix it in. And being that she used to be a global lighten, she does have some pieces that are a little bit more porous. So I will be using number two on some of those pieces at the line of demarcation. And then also it's really good to use number two to help your foil stick, especially if you don't have a lot of regrowth or if you, <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong camera. <laughs> or if you have really, really fine hair that you're dealing with. So let me grab that number two real fast. Okay. Okay. So while I'm foiling, I will introduce myself and talk a little bit more. So we've got number two in this bowl. And I'm going to create diagonals, but I want to do a heavy foil because we still want to be really, really blonde. As you guys can see, her ends are very, very light. So we are going to go in and we're going to do a lot of small weaves and slices. I'm just going to put that number two right there. And I don't do any coloring without Olaplex. So we actually did a standalone before this as well. And then we're going to apply. And when I foil, I don't like to apply it right up to the line, right up to the edge of the foil because it is going to swell a little bit. So I try to stay a little bit further back from the edge of the foil and then just feather it up, making sure you have enough saturation. And there is, there is a drawing today. So if you guys are watching this video, please comment, tell me where you're from. And you'll be entered into the drawing. So I'm uh, also, uh, so I'm an Olaplex advocate. I'm a Malibu C, I'm on the Malibu C artistic team. I have a salon here, I'm in a, a double studio in Draper, Utah. And my client here in the chair, Sam, is a college student in Colorado. Hi, Sam. And then my lovely videographer is Heather. She's also a hairstylist here in Utah. In Sugar House. So when using Olaplex in your lightener, you no longer have to bump up your developer. You just measure according to the directions. And it's going to build those bonds. The hair is made up of three different types of bonds. We've got hydrogen, disulfide, and salt bonds. The salt bonds and the hydrogen bonds will repair themselves. I want to get these little babies out of here. I don't want it to look like breakage. Uh, and then the Olaplex will help relink the disulfide bonds which in turn is going to make her hair stronger, especially when we're lightening hair. We want to rebuild those bonds as we're breaking them down because coloring does break the bonds of the hair. Amy, we have a question. Okay. Helen wants to know if you, so you're overlapping the lightener with previous bleach. I am not overlapping the lightener. Her hair's pretty light, so. So this, let 
you can see there's a few pieces. I'm using a tin volume, but I'm not overlapping. I'm feathering it a little bit, but not enough. And so I can actually put, if I, if I want to pull it through, what I would do is I would put Olaplex number two and then pull it through over the top of that because it's going to add even more of a barrier. Amy, how light is her hair naturally, would you say? She is a level seven. And Cassidy wants to know what kind of foils you're using. I am using color track foils. They're my favorite. They come in a box that they pop up in, but I actually prefer to pull them out of the box and use them because they're really thin. But see, I am not, I'm not overlapping. I'm feathering it onto the pieces. Or they're lighter. Okay, we've We're got stuck. another question. Okay. Um, Sheila wants to know, you use Olaplex even in dark hair color. Absolutely. I'm curious why, just to even out strength. So Olaplex is going to make every color that you're doing and every strand of hair stronger. So if you're adding it even to your darker colors, that hair is going to be stronger. And when you have stronger hair, you're going to have, your hair is actually going to, the color is going to turn out better because it's going to have stronger hair to adhere to. And last longer. And it's going to last much longer. Good question. Uh, why are you starting on the side? Because this is what I, I want to show where I do her money piece. So I'm starting on the side so I can show that because we only have 30 to 45 minutes in this. So I will be going to the back after this. And actually what happens if she gets to the point where she's done processing and these front pieces are done before I get to the back, I will actually just stop oxidation using Malibu C Deox. As you guys can see on these darker pieces, I'm just taking it and, and then you can put number two on those ends. Do you use Olaplex for every lightning service? Absolutely. I, years ago when Olaplex came out, I started using it and I started adding it in to my cost. So I factor it into my pricing because it's not optional. Um, hi, Courtney in Louisiana. How thick of foils do you use when lightening? So these are, the reason I like these is because they are really thin so that I can get closer to the scalp. I feel like some foils out there are a little bit thicker, which are better for if you're doing a technique where you're going to do a shadow root. So I want to keep these little fine hairs down. So I'm putting the number two underneath and that's going to help my foil from sliding as well. And it actually can help with bleeders as well, which let's be honest, we're human beings. Sometimes bleeders can happen. What brand of bleach are you using? I am using Schwarzkopf Blonde Me with Trionics Developer 10 volume, which is Accent. I like Trionics because of the marine enzymes. They help protect the hair. And it's a, this is a, so when I'm using Malibu and I'm using Trionics and Olaplex, this is a premium service. So I'm making sure that that hair is going to be in the best shape it can. And also, so this is the number two I'm putting on these ends. And also, it's, good. so it's a premium service and my clients are going to get the most healthy hair and the best results. And the reason we detoxed her first using Malibu is she has very, very hard water where she lives, like extremely hard water. And so, if we didn't do that, we wouldn't get the proper lift or deposit of her toner. Are you going to add low lights or a smudge? I am not because we want her as blonde as possible. We will just be glossing at the very end with a very ashy toner. I'm not sure I use, I usually use Shades EQ. I love their 10 series. 10 P and 10 T is one of my favorites. 
if you were going to root smudge, when would you do that? I would do it with the toner. When I do a root smudge and toner, I like to apply my toner and then put my root smudge on after the toners on the ends and kind of blend them together really well. So you do the root smudge and the toner together at the same time mm -hmm. after you've rinsed all the foil. Yep. Uh, what's the reason for putting number two on the root before applying? I'll just keep the foils in. And then on the ends, I put it on here just to give her a little added extra bond building. Like I said, we did do a standalone previous to this. Because healthy hair is what we're looking for. So here's the number two. I'm just going to kind of swipe it on these. You cannot overuse Olaplex. It is not protein. So can you use this with any bleach? Absolutely. Any bleach, any color. You can do a standalone. Uh, one of my one of my best services is for people who are just a haircut. Maybe they don't do a chemical service to have them come in and do a Malibu detox treatment with crystal gel and then do a standalone service as well. What do you charge for Olaplex add-on to a color service? It's included in my pricing because it's not optional. So what they what we suggest is that you add you add on, I believe it's 15% to your service to charge for Olaplex. But I will check that and I like I said, I've added it into my pricing figuring out how much it costs per application. So if you were to charge $100, you'd charge $115 with Olaplex. Yes. Good oh, job. Somebody wants to see the number two. So this is what it is in the bowl. It looks a little bit like a conditioner. Mm -hmm. um, I have the big, I can show you the big. This is number two. And number two has to be used after number one. So number one is what you're going to add to your lightener or your color service and your toners. You can add it to all those services. And then you have to do number two at the shampoo bowl for a minimum of 10 minutes. Are you just putting number two underneath? Yeah, and only when I feel like I need it in there. I, like, I don't do it every single foil. If I feel like it's in an area it's going to slip just, just from the way that it feels, then I'll put it in there. So it's more to keep the foil it's in It's to keep place. the foil in place. Yeah, and you know what? A another good trick is if I hadn't done a standalone on her, I would actually take number two and do a mini treatment on all of these pieces that are left out. Now we're at the curve of her head too, so sometimes that's a good place for bleeders and foil slipping so we're just going to paint that in there how do you not get a line when you weave on fine hair on the sides i tend to get a line it doesn't blend the best hi melissa from boston okay melissa so i like to take thin sections make a huge difference another thing is is if you push your foils down it will help but a lot of times when you get lines it's because your section is too thick so the foil can't lay close enough to the head so another thing is I'm doing diagonals, which help. So diagonal foils create softness, which is what we're really trying to create with, with her hair because she does only come every six months to see me because she lives so far away. So I want to show you guys how long we've been. What's her time? We've got the mic. 14 minutes on. So we're okay, we're good. I'm going to show you guys how I determine my money piece as well. So just so, so everybody knows and anybody that's joining us, there is going to be a drawing for those of you who want to enter, comment. And if you guys have any questions, please ask them below and we will answer them for you as best as, best as I can. I don't know everything. I'm just here sharing how I do things in the salon. Will you add Olaplex to her gloss? Yes. Do you add one, two? How do you do that? So that would be number one. And you just number one goes in all your oxidative products. Now, number two, I do like to add if I'm doing a fashion color, like a direct dye. So 
that's any color that you're just adding straight from the tube, like your Pulp Riot, Joico Intensities. I'll add that to dilute it a little bit. So number one, so if you've got, uh, so with lightener, if you've got 30 to 60 grams of lightener, not including your developer, you're going to add one eighth. Um, is her hair dry? Stacy wants to know. No. Her hair actually feels amazing. So we did a detox treatment on her. Then we did a standalone and she has no conditioner in her hair right now. I'm foiling on, I, the reason I did the Malibu treatment before I did her standalone is to make sure there's no barriers. Anytime you have minerals or any kind of buildup on the hair, it's going to create a barrier. And if you've got rocks that you're working through and you try to put a product in there, it's not going to get in. It's not going to be able to do its full potential. So we did that first and we're actually going to cut a little bit off of her length as well. What would you say to people that don't believe in Olaplex? Some people don't want to pay for it. So with clients, that's what one of the reasons I've made it not optional. I don't like my clients to dictate the services that I do on them. So I think educating your clients and then also believing in it yourself, using it and knowing that it's, it's, it's doing what no, no other product out there does. The patent on it is the only one out there. It's the only one that does what it's supposed to do. So if you can teach your clients that and educate them, then they'll believe in it and they'll do it. It's all about confidence with you as their stylist. Now we're getting to the area where the foils are going to stand is dandy. So in her money piece, cause I want it to be really bright. We're going to do a weave and then we're going to do a really skinny slice. Okay. So Samantha used to be, Oh, Samantha, that's very formal. That is. Sam <laughs> used to be a, global blonde and we've decided that we want to go to more of a lived in but still very bright blonde so we're doing lots of foils we prepped her first with Malibu C we did an Olaplex standalone Carmen wants to know if you will bump the developer up in the back yes I always start out with low and slow so I'll start out with a lower developer and then uh, in the back, the, the most I ever put in a foil with Blonde Me is going to be a 20 volume. And that will be on the last few little packets. I have uh, Trionics also has a 17 volume. So I'll use that in the middle, like in the middle sections. But I don't have to worry too much because I know I can pull these front foils and put Malibu CD Ox to stop them from oxidizing. And like I said, I'm starting in the front so I can just kind of show you guys how I do this. And we do want to leave some of her natural in there because we want a, a smooth grow out with lots of blonde. Um, does it take longer to process with Olaplex? No, not if you're mixing it correctly. And then someone wanted to know what type of shampoo and conditioner you recommend after using Olaplex? Okay, so we are going to be sending Miss Sam home with uh, Olaplex Zero and Three so that she can do her own treatments at home to build bonds. They're not quite as strong as in salon treatments, but it's going to help her keep up what we've already done. And then she'll also be going home with number four and five. She already has number six and seven that she uses at home. Oh, and she's already been using three. See, she's an ideal client. So zero, what zero is going to do is since she's already been using three, zero is going to just intensify that. So it's not as strong as a standalone, but it's more than three on its own. And since her hair is nice and prepped, it's going to... What is a standalone? A standalone treatment is 
So after we detoxed her hair using Malibu, which uses vitamin technology to remove minerals and build up from the hair, we did a standalone treatment, which is where you mix Olaplex with water. Olaplex number one. Olaplex number one with water. And you put that on the hair for five minutes. And then you put number two over the top of it and let that go for at least 10 more minutes. Then you shampoo that out. So it's just doing Olaplex. It has nothing to do with the color or anything like that. So here's a place where I'm doing such a fine, fine oil that I am going to stick to underneath. Get all those babies out of the way. Do you rinse out number three? So number three is going to be at home use. So yes, number three is going to get shampooed out of the hair. So you're going to put number three on. At, so put number three on in the shower, then you're going to rinse and shampoo it out. Will Olplex make the hair dry or soft? Uh, so it's not moisture. So you do also need a moisturizing product. And I got that other foil on the way. Uh, so you do need a moisture and protein when using Olaplex because Olaplex is just for strength. So I believe it makes the hair, I think, the especially so the smoothing product. If somebody's hair is dry, what would you use on it after Olaplex? So for moisture, I love uh, Malibu CR Replenish Mask is really good. Or we have uh, Miracle Repair, which is both pro protein and moisture. So I put number two on these ends. Kelly wants to know what clips and tint brushes you're using. Color track. So I love the bristles on these. They're really, really fine. So for foiling, they're great. And I always have to have something with a pointy end. Sorry. Plus they're pretty. How long would you book out for this kind of service? So if I wasn't, so today we booked a little bit more because we're doing this live, but I would do about four hours, four to four and a half. And she only comes to me every six months. So she brings snacks. Josie wants to know what sectioning you're doing and thank you for filming this. Thanks Heather for filming. <laughs> so I am just doing diagonals on the sides and then, okay. So, oh yes. I was going to show you guys how I figure out what my money piece is going to be. So I want this to be brighter in the front. So I will show you guys how I figure out. Cause sometimes I don't know if you guys have ever done this, but you go to do your money piece or you go to dry your client and your money piece has now disappeared. happens to me. You gotta make it pop. If you had to pick one product of Olaplex, which one would you pick? She can't live without any of them. I'm telling you right now. Number one. <laughs> number one. Yeah, number one. Okay, so when I'm doing a money piece, I take my comb and I lay it on the head at the high point. And then where that comb starts coming off the head is where you're going to start your money piece because the other hair is going to fall forward. And then right behind that, if I was doing a low light on her, I would do my low light right behind that piece. So where that comb comes off the head, it's kind of the same as when you do a fringe. That's where I'm gonna do my money piece. Cool trick. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a super skinny slice. And I don't know if you guys remember, I don't know if you guys were taught the same thing in hair school, but with slices, you wanna make sure you could read the newspaper through it. Mm -hmm. Are you foiling diagonally up to her part? Yes. So I went diagonally. These last couple were more right on her part. So it's diagonal back, right? Mm -hmm. Back. Forward, back. Forward, back. Somewhere. Okay. So this is going to be a slice. Sorry, I'm on your nose, Sam. Sam doesn't care. She just wants pretty hair. Mm -hmm. So everybody that's just joining, we are doing a, it's basically a global foil conversion.
She, the last time we did foils as well, but before that she was a global blonde. So her ends are really, really light. And now we're just kind of trying to blend the top into the, Do you so that she's blonde enough, but. Always tend to use triangular sections. Uh, when I'm doing that, let's see for this, for the fringe area, when I'm doing a money piece, yes. But in the back, I'll just do, and right here, like this is, so it kind of turns this into a triangle too. What is a money piece? A money piece? That's where the money's at, right in the front. Frames are money maker. Just that very front piece. We want it to pop. Make sure mine did it. <laughs> so what's a global are... blonde so a global blonde is somebody who you put bleach all over their scalp so there is no natural hair color left and it's higher maintenance because of the grow out and so so like a platinum blonde. yeah so like she was platinum and she had no low lights left no natural color left in there but as it grew out it grew out a lot faster because there was no natural left in there. So now we want to make it really blonde, but with a softer grow out, which is why I did the diagonals. What will you tone with after and what will you use? So I usually tone with Redken Shade ZQ. I have a few different ones, um, but I will most likely use Redken Shade ZQ on her with Olaplex added, of course. And 10T and 10P are one of my faves, but I won't know until I rinse her out and look at it. What developer the, in front? I'm using 10 right now. 10, not 20. Nope. In the back, when I, uh, so what I'll do is when I remix next, I will go to a 17. And then I will switch to the very, very last few foils. I will do a 20 volume. And if you guys want to see my detoxing process we did uh, Malibu crystal gel on her earlier and it is on my Instagram stories can we see your salon sure um, so beautiful so I normally have two chairs in here but because of COVID they can't be six feet apart so I'm not double booking at the moment so retail shelves sink Uh, after the completion of Sam's service today, how many applications of Olaplex will she have had from start to finish? So she'll have her standalone and then the, the what's in her highlights, which is going to be, I bet we'll mix three bowls of lightener and then she'll have it in her toner. So three. And that's including the number two afterwards because number two must be used afterwards. And then I'm using number two in between and on some of her ends as well. So. Like I said, you can't overuse it. So use as much as you need to. It only makes everything else better. Uh, would this process work for a natural level five or six grow out from previous global platinum? Absolutely. And if it was a look, it depends on how well, and it depends on how light you still want to be. If you want to keep being light, or if you want to go darker, darker, I would put some low lights in with it. But we're just using her natural as her low light. What Olaplex aftercare would you recommend? P.S. Amazing video, ladies. Thank you. So she is going home with zero, three, Four and five, she already has six and seven. So she's got the whole array of aftercare. How and long, even though her hair is fine, it works well for her hair. How long will the toner stay on? 12 to 20 minutes. On towel dried hair. Okay, so this one's going to be a slice. What is your favorite service to provide to your clients? Oh gosh. Um, <laughs> I love treatments in color. I do a ton of color. I actually do a lot of pixies too. 
So I don't know that I could pick just one thing, to be honest with you. I love all of it. So just to recap, for those that are just joining us, we did a Malibu crystal gel to detox her hair. Then we did an Old Flex standalone. And now we are doing a bunch of blonde foils with Old Flex added. Then we will tone her. And she will be a blonde bombshell. Uh, what lightener are you using? I am using Blonde Me with Trionics Accent. And Old Flex. Showed everybody and I got some on my hand. So after we rinse her foils, we will do Malibu Seed Deox for 60 seconds, which will stop the oxidation. And then we will do number two for 10 minutes. Actually, that's a lie. After we tone her, we'll do Deox. And then number two. So, Amy, I think you answered this question already, but... Um, I'll answer it again. If a client doesn't want to spend extra on Olaplex, how do you handle that conversation? So, when you're first introducing Olaplex into the salon, it can be a little bit difficult, but because it's not optional in my salon, I have factored it into my pricing. So, when I first started adding it in, I figured out how much it costs per ounce, per half ounce, you know... And then I factored it into my price increase when I did a price increase. And now it's just not optional. So Basically, I would everyone say it's color with Olaplex. When they sit in exactly. Because I know the difference it's going to make with how their color is. And they trust me as their stylist. I don't like people. I don't like my clients to dictate what products I use on their hair. So I choose what works and then just let them know. And I do make sure that I let them know what I'm using and that I'm doing a premium service when I'm using Olaplex in their service and that their hair is going to feel better. And, you know, because Olaplex has done so well and is such an amazing product, your clients will start asking you for it at some point because they'll see the marketing. They'll see it, you know, at different places. They'll, their friends will tell them about it. They'll see it pop up on their Instagram or TikTok. Amy, we want to see your comb. Oh. Color track. And they have all different fun colors. And I like how long the pin is on it. So everybody that's joining, we are going to have a drawing. So ask a question, leave a comment. And if you guys have any other questions, I will just go ahead and put them in the comments and I will come back and check them later. Do you feel Olaplex is a must for aftercare or just highly recommend? So I do believe it's a must, yes, because it's going to help rebuild the bonds of the hair. And if that's something that they can do at home to make my job easier the next time they come in, then I will definitely recommend that. Now, with that being said, I mean, some people... It, some people can't buy products on the same day they're getting their hair done, but definitely, definitely send them home with number three. And there are some stylists that include number three in their color services. So that way their clients get it in a, in kind of a package deal. Okay. So now we have done, so we've done diagonals on this whole side and I did mostly weaves on the side in here. I did, a couple slices with really fine weaves. I didn't leave hair out in between. I just left what I weaved out. So then I will go to her other side and then I will up my developer in the back. How many foils are you going to use? Do you think? Oh gosh, I have no idea. <laughs> we'll count them for you. <laughs> we'll count them and put that in the comments. You're at 35 minutes. Okay, so this is Sam. We have done a full Malibu C detox on her using crystal gel. Then we did an Olaplex standalone treatment, and now we are doing foils, also using Olaplex number one. I have put number two in some, in between some of her foils and also on some of her ends to add some more strength to her hair. The whole point of Olaplex 
is to strengthen and rebuild the bonds. The three bonds of the hair, two of them will rebond on, them on their own, but the disulfide bond needs Olaplex to help relink it. And then after she has processed, we will gloss her using Olaplex as well. And then we will do Malibu C Deox followed by Olaplex number two for 10 minutes. Sherry we'll wants to know, do you feel that Ola adding Olaplex in the toner can cause it to fade faster? No. Because if there's more, if you think about relinking the bond and there being more bonds in the hair, that gives that toner more, more to adhere to. So not to mention that we have already detoxed and prepped her hair, removing any kind of obstacles, mineral, de mineral deposits from her hair. So now that hair is clean, it's a naked canvas, and that, that toner is going to be able to grab much better. Will you show the final results on this video? So I will, I did before and after pictures. I know behind the chair we'll have those. I believe they write an article on it. And I will see if I can put them on my Instagram. So either that or I can put them in the comments here. I just have to kind of see what Olaplex has, has me do. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you, Olaplex. Thank you behind the chair. And thanks Sam and Heather for helping me. And we'll see you guys around. Stay healthy. See you when you're blonde, Sam. <laughs>